So after the installation of the CardioShield software, you'll be ready to run a test. So first you will need to open up the software and run as an administrator. After this, you can either choose to add a new patient or run a scan from an existing patient. If you have a new patient, you can click on the new patient icon and fill in all relevant fields. So these are things such as the patient name, their age, height, weight and their date of birth. Also, if you go back to the software homepage, you can run a test from an existing patient here. So you can do this by right clicking on the patient name and clicking new exam and then you can change any relevant details since their last test. Once you're finished, select next and a pop-up will appear with the correct ECG electrode placement before you're taken to the results. Now you have a real-time observation of your ECG screening. If you wish to begin recording, you can press the acquire button. You can also change the amount of time that it's recording for by clicking manual. Here you can either change the second or you can press stop. Once you press stop, a pop-up box will allow you to save those results and then you are taken straight to the results page. In the results you can see the whole recorded time of the ECG screening and you can scroll through these. Also, the results will help you acquire a general diagnosis for your patient. These results will be saved automatically, so you can close them up. And you can right-click on your patient and click Exam History. And here, all the ECG screenings will show up. If you also decide to disconnect the device from the PC, you can do a bedside acquisition by clicking the bedside acquisition button. This will allow you to take as many ECGs as you like with new or existing patients and then you can reconnect to your PC later and import all of your patient data.